Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla. You can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Reax Ridge jacket and pants available at Revzilla.com. This is the Ridge from Reax, new for the spring of 2018. This is a true four season, waterproof, breathable, stretchable, but really beefed up jacket that I look at for the four season commuter, the four season tour, and really the four season dual sport rider. Now, it's a little bit more muted. It has low key logoing. And if you're new to Reax, Reax is a new brand built under the Komodo Revzilla umbrella, really incepted in 16, aiming to bring a little bit more sophistication and stealth focus to really comfort and protection features that kind of elevate the conversation without going crazy halo. For frame of reference, the Reax Ridge is gonna be 430 bucks for the jacket and around 289 for the pants. Now, what you don't get, you're not getting Gore-Tex. You're not getting halo R&D materials that kind of max out and build a jacket and pant that you're gonna ride Namibia with. It's not designed to do that. But what it is designed to do is allow the everyday or longer distance rider that's a little more seasoned and wants to understand where to upgrade their protective scheme and upgrade the comfort features in the jacket. And we'll get into that in a second. Now, quick note on fitment. And again, the Reax Ridge is gonna come really in two colors in the jacket where this charcoal black, and there's also what they call load in, which is gonna be a more military green, and the pants are coming in charcoal only for now. Fit wise though, I have Hive as Brian. You know him well, six foot 195, 42 inch chest. And he's about a 33 inch jeans waist. He's wearing a size large in the jacket, and he's also wearing a size large in the pant. And when we start to pull everything apart and work our way into the nuance. We're going to talk a little bit more about that. But ultimately, two fit things that need to jump out at you right away is this is a medium weight poly with 4% stretch. So the external shell here is a little bit more comfortable, a little bit lighter weight, a little bit more movable. Now he does have a fully windproof three layer destination liner that's worked into this jacket that's fully encapsulated and fully zipped in. And the pants, they don't come with any kind of thermal layer. Keep that in mind. But you are getting six inches of hemability from the bottom up. You also have a three position knee, which allows you to really fine tune where that knee sits while you're on the bike. So keep that in mind. I wouldn't call it American cut, but I'd also look at and say the stretch factor allows it to be a little bit more clean, a little bit more svelte without being overly baggy. Now, we'll ship for free our 39 bucks. And as always, I'd love it if you click our logo, subscribe to us, leave, leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback on the Reax Ridge or the Reax Ridge pants. Now, a few other nuances that need to jump out right away. This is laminated. So the waterproof breathability to cover you from mother nature, whether it's going to be rain, snow, sleet, whatever you're riding in, that is actually laminated and baked in. So this outer shell with the 4% stretch, the back side of it actually has that waterproof breathable liner bonded to it. So it doesn't move with you. The waterproofing is not removable. Typically the trade-off when you get into that realm is you start to see that the venting becomes different or difficult if you're not using direct venting, which a lot of folks won't do. What they've done on this jacket is given you eight vents on the jacket and four on the pants, and they're all direct. So those water resistant zippers that are finished here with reflectivity, they vent actually directly to your body. Now he's got his waterproof breather or windproof destination liner in, it's gonna vent to that. But when you remove it in summertime riding, you have big vents at the chest. You have vertical vents at the chest. And both of these two-way zipper open from the front or open from the back, easy to find when you're riding. They've solved that problem. Also on the sleeve, two-way zip. Again, water resistant zip with reflectivity in your garages for these zippers, getting airflow there. And when we turn him to the back, not yet, you're going to see vertical vents on the back for exhaust. So eight total vents really allowing you to take this jacket and dip into the hot June, July, August, summer months with the liners out and be able to quickly zip those zips up and make it fully waterproof as well. The other thing they've done across the Reax line and what you're seeing here on the ridge, giving it that bomb proof ability when it needs it without being overly crunchy or heavy duty is it's Sastec CE level two armor in the shoulders, in the elbows, adjustable in the knees. And they're also giving you Sastec CE level one in the hips on the pants. And if you're new to Sastec, this is a super lightweight ventilated molecular armor. And the molecular factor allows it to be flexible and comfortable. What happens is when you introduce shock, the crystalline lattice structure of the molecules within this armor disperse the energy throughout the armor, making it rigid absorbing energy and lengthening the impact. We've just seen the last few years, different manufacturers be co coming to market with their CE level two rating, which is that next level up in their limbs, not just in back protectors. 
What SAS Tech's done is been able to hit that standard without making it bulk, bulky, without taking the holes away, without limiting the breathability. So again, with Armour, you don't want bulk, but you do want protection. And in my eyes, that's a bit of a trade-off here because it's not Armour Core, it's not Core Dura. It's a lighter weight stretch material on the outside, but the armor in the limbs is a step forward or higher than what you might expect to see at this level. And again, the back protector on this jacket, it does not come stock. You're gonna have to replace it with any CE1 or two level back protector from any manufacturer, from D3O or any of the branded manufacturers you see, is a stretch and universally fit pocket. Keep that in mind. Now, beyond that, let's start with the collar and work our way down. Up towards the collar, you're gonna see it is a one and a half to two inch collar. It's more of a storm collar approach to things, knowing that it is a four season jacket that it has to cover you when it's a little bit messy out. Notice. Adam's Apple cutaway done in neoprene. And also the way this is done is rare earth neodymium magnets. Now we've seen other manufacturers do this in the past. What happens is they use too small of a magnet. When you get to 60 miles an hour, you still get a little flap or 60 mile an hour plus. That much wind can time to flap it around. What they've done here is used a big enough magnet that makes it really simple, keeps it in place. But also when you loop it back, it's not gonna flap on you, which is a nice touch. The other thing you're gonna notice, big zipper garage here, nice big pull, again, to be able to find with a gloved hand. But they are using neoprene roll here at the top. And again, if you start to sweat in the summer or you get wet when you're getting rained on, it's nice to have that layer which is going to create soft comfort against the skin. And when we open it up, you're going to see that actually goes down along the inside of the collar as well. Now, all these zippers are going to be AquaGuard. That is going to be a water resistant branded zipper. It's not the Aqua Seal zippers that are fully waterproof, but it is a high degree of water resistant because remember, we give this jacket a fully waterproof rating. Working our way down the torso, these are waterproof hand warmer pockets, again, with water resistant zips. You can see how this main connection zip comes all the way down. It is two way, depending on if you are sitting in an upright position on your bike, you can break it at the bottom so it does not lift up and push on you. And the other thing to call out here is the stretch function. So while you have 4% stretch in your main materials, you also have running along the collarbone, down under the arm, additional elements of stretch. Now, hi, Ms. Brian, turn and face that way for me. A few things going on that are hard to pick up with the naked eye. One is that at the shoulder, there's a little bit of lightweight padding just to give it some stiffness if you happen to remove the armor from it. It's also dual reinforced, so there's two layers of material in the shoulder as well as the elbows. Again, those high impact zones over top of that Sastec armor. So again, the typical impact areas, just beefing up a lighter weight or a material that again is not gonna be that bomb proof Cordura you'd see in that seven, eight, nine hundred dollar range. Moving down, you're gonna see reflective pop back of the elbow right on top of this stretch panel. Backside of the arm, coming into our vent scheme here, you have Four, or four vents on the front, four vents on the back, back side of the arm, exhaust port. Notice the stretch coming down from the collar, wraps around under the arm, you have that as well. Hi, Ms. Brian, open your arm up. Now, one of the things that's pretty cool here is that there have definitely been other jackets we've seen over time that have done, a, not a lot, but a similar underarm configuration, but a lot of times they become really hard to reach for those zippers to open them up either back to front or front to back when you're riding. What Reax has done is extended the pull here on the back and used a zipper that's going to not bite itself or not be overly beefy because again when you're riding you don't want to pull over and have to take your jacket off to open up the zippers you can reach around and just pull it right open and notice the way that that's secured too on the inside there's a tacked stitch there to make sure that when this gets opened or really pulls open it's not going to pull or rip the mesh so again you have that bonded element here increasing the longevity of the mesh underneath notice as well here reflective pops done here with these zipper garages that's a nice touch moving down Basic Reacts logoing. Again, their theme has been more muted, more adult, more matured. Again, there are plenty of jackets out there that have big, big logos, even super high-end brands, big, big logos. They said, we're gonna be a little bit more muted, a little bit more styled. We're gonna let the utility of these jackets do the talking versus big, big branded elements. Now, Hive is Brian, turn backwards for me. There he goes. Remember, we talked about having to replace the back protector CE1 or CE2 with whatever your preferred back protector or whatever you already have is. It is going to come with a temper foam placeholder to give it some stiffness. But again, this is temper foam. This is not certified on any level. So you can either pull it out or just replace it out of the gates. We recommend a back protector, but that's your choice. On the back here, again, embroidered, limited logoing. Again, the, the React twist logo here on top. And then you have the React scripted logo. Working our way down, you do have 
waterproof rabbit pouch down here towards the bottom so you can store anything you need, including the removable destination liner down here towards the bottom. And again, you see on this side how the zipper terminates. Everything sits nicely in there and you have that reflective pop there. Come back around to the front for me there, HVB. Now, on the front of this, notice the two reflective zipper garages. Let's work our way to the inside of the jacket. Go ahead and unzipper that for me. If he brings it all the way down, you're going to see a few things besides the high-vis Brian on the inside here. One is this rain guard system that is bar tacked back. And what this is, is a secondary layer of protection that has that laminated waterproof breathability behind it. What it's going to do is it's going to funnel any water that happens to get through this beefy water resistant zipper down and out of the bottom of the jacket. Now, if we look to the inside, this is the integration of your three layer windproof destination liner. And if we look at the way that's done, it is finished nicely and you have the ability to pull those zippers over the top. So the way that it's done is they come in, they come up at the top, they terminate within a zipper garage, but then also you never have to have that pressure point of feeling that zipper pull against you because it flips around to the front. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna open it up this way, go all the way down, Notice similar features as the jacket itself. Hand warmer pockets, reflective pop on top of them, neoprene collar comes into play again, keeping that comfort factor because the worst thing that can happen is if you put in the thermal liner and it wasn't as comfortable against your skin as the jacket itself. Looking towards the top here, notice that micro fleece, that Trico liner goes all the way down two to three inches and then moving down on the inside of the jacket itself. Big, I call that the hat pocket. I've seen Roland Sands do these in the past. They do them really well. Mesh slip liner because remember, you have direct ventilation and you have your waterproof breathability that's bonded to the outer shell. Now, if we come across and we do this side, a few different things going on here. The first one's going to be, this is a waterproof Napoleon pocket. So again, they're giving you that waterproof additional layer to where if you need anything to, like your phone to go in there, you have an additional layer of security on the inside of the jacket. And then again, on your destination layer here, we should shoot another shot of this. Really, you're gonna have that chest pocket there with some orange stitching as well. Opening up the jacket itself, you're going to see cinching down here along the back, and there is going to be two jeans loops as well as a short connection zipper. So here on the ridge, you're gonna be able to put this ridge and connect it directly to the pants. Now, if HVB opens this up, open the other side up too. Let's talk briefly about the pants here. Remember, the pants are using the similar materials. It is a waterproof, breathable, laminated layer, and the pants going to have four direct vents. Two on the front of the leg, two on the back, internal and exhaust. Some stretch, we talked about the movability of the knees. Up here towards the flight, Hyvis Brian, go ahead and undo the snap at the top. It's a slide and a snap that has a water resistant zipper, micro Velcro, and a gusset behind it. So the inside of these pants are actually going to be a full mesh slip liner. Again, bring your own base layers, bring your own mid layers. You're going to have the thermal element on the jacket, but not on the pants. You do have two basic hip pockets. And Hyvis Brian, turn face that way for me really quickly. Let's talk about the pant. The pants gonna have CE level one armor up here on the hip. And then again, as you work your way down, you have that movable knee, but you have a back vent on the back of each side of the knee. And remember too, when I talk about the hem ability on the pants, the pants actually give you six inches at the bottom. That means the liner stops and you can take them to any tailor and basically adjust where this pant terminates. So again, matching it to your inseam, moving the armor to where it needs to be. And now you don't have the factor of a pant that might be misaligned. Now take your right leg and push it forward a little bit for me. On the back of inside of his left leg, you're going to see there is a synthetic material that is baked into the inside of both pant legs, which is essentially like a fire retardant or heat retardant material that's going to give you up to 750 degrees of protection. So what's going to happen is you have this pant, which is a poly like you'd see in any mid-range jacket, having that stretch with that beefy armor, but if the inside of your pant touches any hot part of your bike or your pipes, it's not going to melt the way a, if it was the normal material just coming into contact would. So again, beefing up the areas that typically people run into problems when they are on a longer distance ride or they happen to slide or shift, and now you have a pant leg that starts to melt against your gear. I mean, we've all done it with our base layers, but sometimes even high-end gear falls susceptible to that same thing. Come back around to the front for me, HVB. Last thing on the pants, again, dual layer, in the seat of the textile material. Again, so you have elbows, you have shoulders, as well as a seat, which are going to be beefed up. Now, you can zip it all the way up. All in, if we look in the Reax Ridge, you're looking at that four season functionality. You have your vents for hot weather riding, you have your waterproof breathability for any time Mother Nature decides she wants to fight with you, and then what you also have is the thermal mid layer, which is windproof, 
on the jacket, allowing you to then take it into the depths of winter or beef it up with thermals or even heated gear, both jacket and pants, to really take it down to the temperature range. What it won't do is, like I said, take you to Namibia. I give it kind of a dual sport rating, but not a hardcore adventure rating. It's really better suited for light dual sporting, coupled with more multi-season, long distance, call it on the road, sport commuting, commuting, touring, really long distance miling, where you need the flexibility and the functionality to keep you comfortable, but you're not willing to sacrifice, again, anything less than a CE2 level of armor rating. Now, the next step in your journey is to click the info button, your desktop, your mobile device. Visit the product detail page at ribzilla.com. Read other rider reviews. You shouldn't just take our word for it. As always, we'll ship free over 38 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at ribzilla.com or 877 9455 Thanks for watching our detail breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us at Revzilla on our YouTube channel. Stay updated with our opinion of the latest and greatest in the motor universe. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.